Hello, welcome to another tutorial. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make some really quick uh, low poly asteroids. So you can see here, I've been using them in some of the other tutorials um, we've been making. So uh, they're pretty simple to make in Blender. And so let's get started. Okay, so we'll move this aside. Alright, so basically you need to uh, load up Blender. This is Blender 2.8. Um, and uh, if you already have it open, File New, General. Uh, and you should have this uh, famous uh, cube. Uh, just uh, select everything by pressing A, uh, then press X and delete. Okay, uh, now that you have a blank slate, you're going to go up to uh, Add. So this will be available in Layout, Modeling. Uh, it might be available everywhere. So anyway, go up to this add feature here, go to mesh, and go to icosphere. So now you have kind of a low poly uh, sphere to use. Um, and uh, I want to make this a little bit bigger. Uh, my asteroids in game are a little bit bigger than <laughs> one meter radius. So I'm going to make it bigger. I'm going to give it a few more sides to work with. Uh, so uh, if you go to radius here, you can set this to 10 meters. You can make this 100 meters if you wanted, however big you want it. Uh, and then I'm going to make three subdivisions. So it still gives us a bunch of geometry to work with. Um, and it looks like a big golf ball now. So, um, so from here, we have uh, the starting point. You can turn this actually into a, um, a low poly planet if you wanted, but uh, we're making asteroids. So. Uh, just uh, select the uh, the whole object here and uh, go into modeling. Uh, make sure everything's selected. So if you don't have it selected, click off of whatever you're selecting. Press A and then uh, go up to the menu up here to mesh. Go to transform and then go to randomize. Okay, so you click that, nothing really happens. You might see a little bit of movement on your mesh, um, but uh, if you go down to this uh, menu again, uh, you'll have your randomized menu here. And right now it's only randomizing by 0.1 meters. Uh, and you can click on this and drag it, or you can type in a number. So I'm just going to drag it. But as you drag it left and right, you're going to be able to uh, see how it's going to deform uh, the sphere into something a little bit more interesting. Uh, so this is going to give you kind of that asteroid look. And you can just play around with these things. Um, and uh, I think a normal kind of pushes things out a little bit so that's kind of good to create more craters uh, so now that you have something kind of craggy you can also uh, use the random seed here as well and that will give you a whole bunch of different iterations so say you wanted to make a bunch of these random uh, asteroids you could do that with the random seed keep exporting them uh, so that's down here as well. So once you're happy with kind of a general shape, uh, you can you know manipulate this however you want, just like you would in any type of blender mesh. But uh, basically, you could say you're done right now. Uh, there's one other thing that you could do, kind of give this a little bit more um, character, and that's create some craters on the uh, asteroid. You can also make little kind of volcano type of things. So to do that just find some indentations. So this is a pretty good one here. And you're just gonna make sure you're on a face mode in edit. So you're in edit mode and you're and you're selecting face select. And click off so you're not selecting everything. And then just select some faces around an indent like that. You kinda want a crater like piece. And then once you have everything selected, press I. And that's gonna give you the inset feature. And if you just kind of slide your mouse down into the center here, you're going to give a ridge. And uh, from here, you can um, uh, select the move um, feature over here. And that's going to give you some arrows to move with. Uh, and then what I like to do is actually set uh, my transform to the uh, normal. And that kind of gives me the right angle that I want to go in here. So once you select normal on the move, grab the blue Z arrow and just pull it in. Okay. And you can do that. And now you have kind of more of an indent. Uh, 
another thing you can do so let's find another spot that looks like a pretty good it's like right here so we'll just uh, select around the edge here and we'll create our inset again bring it down so now I'm gonna make like a, a lip around the crater so I've done it once and now I'm gonna press inset again and then left click again and now I have two and this final one is where I'm going to push it in so then you have kind of a little bit more of a, a ridge around it so it's not as uh, um, steep a decline into the into the crater okay um, I'm gonna throw one more here so just select all of them press I Press I again, and we'll put that all the way down in there. So you can make these as steep as you want. You can actually um, go all the way through, make make holes and stuff like that uh, if you wanted. Um, there's uh, some uh, gameplay there. You can uh, fly through a whole asteroid. Okay, so once you have that done, basically we're basically ready. Um, you know, one final step that you might want to do is do some UV editing. Um, if you select everything, you'll see there is uh, an unwrap already kind of there. Um, this is just the UV editing tab. Um, usually when I do this, I usually uh, have it selected on the right-hand pa panel here. Click the UV and then Smart UV Project. And you'll see now we have kind of a easier to uh, deal with um, set up here, but uh, there's other ways to do uh, low poly um, unwrapping and uh, texturing. So once you have this, you can map it to a texture uh, or some sort of color palette. Might be an easier way to do it. Uh, but anyway, once we have this, I'm just going to go back to the modeling here. Uh, so now we want to export it and bring it into Unity. So if you go up to File, Export, and choose FBX, and uh, find the folder that you want to bring your um, asteroid to. And I'm going to call this asteroid um, asteroid two. Okay, I don't think I have that in here. Good. Um, and then I want to point out at the bottom here, in this bottom left corner, there's something called an export FBX menu. And you'll see there's some. Um, things that you could choose. You could choose just the selected object that you want to uh, um, uh, export or you know the whole thing. So if we didn't delete the cameras in the beginning and things like that, selected object would allow you to just uh, just pull out your own piece here. Uh, there's also uh, the different forwards. This always gets screwed up in uh, um, Unity. So playing around with this forward and up can help um, in uh, uh, so you can select Z forward and, and Y up depending on how you've uh, positioned your your object. Asteroids, it doesn't really matter too much, uh, but like a spaceship, you might have it facing the wrong way. Um, so that would be kind of where you could fix that. All right, so once we have some of those things selected, we've got our name. Click Export. All right, so now we're ready to go back into Unity. And so once we're here, and we go to Assets, Import New Asset and go to the folder that you export it to. So this is my Asteroid 2 right here. And it will pop up in your uh, projects menu. So here's my Asteroid 2. And usually when I uh, import a new mesh into my uh, scene, I like to create an empty object first to contain it. So we'll call this new Asteroid. And then uh, drag the Asteroid 2 onto that object and that way you can kind of control rotation and things like that so say that rotation got messed up or something so now we have our asteroid in game and uh, there's all sorts of import settings and things like that that you could look at maybe the scale is messed up you can add another you can add some scale factor to it to make it the right size um, and all sorts of other things that we won't get into today but uh, so once you have that in you can check it out in your game and this is just using the default material that came with it, so it's not really textured at all. So you can always, uh, you know, add a texture to it. 
Let's see, we wanted our asteroid to be navy blue. So it's pretty dark now. But you can see you just added a texture to it. And of course, you can UV map it and actually really texture it uh, in Blender. So there you go. All right, so uh, I hope you found this uh, tutorial helpful. Um, I hope to provide some more uh, low poly uh, Blender tutorials and uh, more space sim tutorials for Unity. All right, uh, if you like this video and want to see more, make sure you like it and subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot.